What is going on everyone? Welcome to Heroes Avenue. So ever since we got our first look at uh, Robert Pattinson in the bat suit uh, last week, uh, you know the internet's been drawing up a lot of fan art on what his Batman could look like in full form. Um, and so people are, you know, making fan art on what, how long his, his ears could be and what color his suit is um, and what inspiration are they going to pull from as well. Because we didn't get a full glimpse of the suit yet. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get that very soon. Um, but uh, I personally feel like that, you know, this Batman is going to pull a lot of in inspiration from the Bill Finger, um, uh, you know, version of, of Batman uh, when he was first uh, debuted in the comics, in Detective Comics. So Bill Finger, if you guys don't know, he is one of the co-creators of the Batman. Um, and his Batman, you know, when Batman was first released, he had like the, the ears that was kind of pointed sideways. And I personally love that version of Batman. It's super old school. Um, and I feel like this Batman is going to pull out of inspiration from that. Uh, but let's go into more into detail about that later. But first, let's go ahead and jump into what other people's fan arts look like with different uh, sizes of, of bat ears. So first, let's go ahead and look at the small bat ears. So we've already seen how Batman would look like with small ears with the Ben Affleck version. Um, I personally love those type of ears the best. It just looks more practical. There's no reason for it to be, um, you know, as long as it was in Christian Bale's or Michael Keaton's Batman. Um, but here you go. Here's the fan art of Rob Pattinson with uh, with short ears. It looks okay. It looks good. Um, it looks, you know, it looks slim. It looks, you know, it doesn't look awkward at all. Um, and then let's go ahead and look into the longer uh, ears. All right, so this one looks a lot like, you know, look, you know, half and half with Michael Keaton Batman and half with Christian Bale Batman. Um, yeah, I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm still digging the shorter ears with this one. Um, and then we got some really cool fan art um, from L. Jart. He made some really clear fan art of, you know, Robert Pattinson's uh, Batman and gave him a whole uh, bo full body suit. Um, and it looks incredible. It looks super clear. Uh, and this fan art, you can see his eyes, uh, eyes more, a lot clearer. Uh, he really completes the helmet as well. Um, and then um, here, you, he's kind of giving him like medium sized ears. And I think it looks great. I think if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go with a different uh, bat ears, medium sized ears would be the best. You know, not too long like Michael Keaton's, not too short like Ben Affleck, just stick right in the middle. Um, and, and I think this looks perfect. Um, and then here you go with uh, his other his other fan art with Rob Pattinson with the white eyes, and I think it looks great. And here you go, he also has um, the the chin strap. I think the chin strap looks really good um, with this bat with this bat suit. Looks very similar to um, Christian Bale's suit. Looks very armory, um, but it looks great. All right, so now let's jump into uh, the inspiration of Bill Finger. So. Uh, I'm sure you guys seen you know you know this version of Batman everywhere um, you know in the, either in the comics or uh, in, the, in the cartoons as well. Um, and I I pulled this uh, this image from Twitter. This guy this this one Twitter dude he really picked apart you know um, Robert Pattinson's Batman and took some some screenshots and you know changed up the color to really see what um, see where the connection is with Robert Pattinson's Batman and Bill Finger's Batman. And on the top top left, here's the image right here. The top left of the photo, you know, it is a black and white um, version of the, the the first look of Robert Pattinson. But here, you could see a little bit more clearly. Um, you know, since it's, it is black and white, you could see the ears more. The ears look like they are pointed out more, like they're wider. Um, and I think it, you could kind of see the resemblance from that that photo, that screenshot, to Bill Fingers. Um, and then here on the on the bottom of that you know the uh, Twitter guy he even says even the face is Bill, Bill Finger especially because of the pointy nose it's more pointy than the image where he's looking upwards would lead you to believe and I totally agree I mean the nose is very pointy just like the Bill Finger Batman um, and uh, and then on the top right uh, he also you know uh, highlights how how you know Robert Pattinson's helmet or his, his cowl kind of points outwards, um, kind of indicating that his ears are wide um, and it's curving. Um, and he also says like, the stitching begins here of the ears so it could go outwards. 
and, um, and, the, and it draws connection to the 1939 Batman ears. Um, and I totally agree with this guy 100%. I feel like, uh, I mean, we already tackled, you know, the, the Batman anime series look Batman. Um, and then we also tackled uh, Frank Miller, Dark Knight Returns Batman with BVS. And I think it only makes sense to go way back to the beginning and draw inspiration from the Bill Finger Batman. So um, those are my thoughts and these are the fan arts that are coming out on the internet right now. Uh, what do you guys think about uh, which uh, which Batman inspiration is Matt Reeves gonna pull from? Uh, let me know in the comments below, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys again, bye.